Alright, how's it going guys? It is me, Michael Angelo, aka Sturbrand Live. So today we're gonna be talking about stop fucking comparing yourself to other fucking people. Honestly. A lot of people ask me how I freaking got to my body weight right now. Honestly, I got up here by basically not giving a fuck about any other people but my own self. Like, if you're at the gym, I know a lot of people do this. Because that was me last time. I used to be going to the gym and I always compare myself to this buff ass guy. And then he's lifting like over a 100 pound weight and I'm like lifting my 25 pound weight. And honestly... It was really tough for me to realize that I shouldn't be giving a damn about that person but giving a damn about myself. One reason is, why do you have to compete against that person? Like you're trying to improve yourself and get bigger but you're comparing yourself to other people and it's ruining you and you're not going to be motivated and you're not going to be doing it for yourself but you're just trying to be there for other people, you know? Honestly, once you start giving a, give, honestly, if you start giving no damn about other people and worry about yourself, you can accomplish many fucking things in life. I realize that I sacrifice unnecessary, unnecessary stuff such as video games, going drinking, partying, and that's how I made it to my body weight right now. From 100 pound to 150, I made it this far, and honestly. I just believe that if you work hard, you grind hard, you don't think about others, you don't go stalk people's Instagram, you will fucking gain. Your, your goals will go up. If you start, if you always give a damn about someone, you're never doing anything. You're just trying to follow that person. It's unhealthy. Honestly, like, I used to follow, follow this guy because he was so big. I always wanted to be myself like him. I, I want to be like him. I want to be super shredded, super, super big. And the problem was, is I kept following him and I kept, I kept trying to idolize him. And I'm not, I'm not even working my way there. Like I spend every second being on my phone watching him and it, it wasn't good. Like I could have been at the gym killing it and getting bigger instead of me copying someone and trying to be there, you know? I'm like wasting time in my bed looking at this nice ass guy and I'm here being a hundred pound. So eventually I started to realize I ain't gonna do it for myself, but myself, you know? So don't give a damn about other people. All right, Dominique, yes, you shouldn't compare yourself to others all the time. I'm telling you, if you honestly want to get somewhere in life, you need to honestly push yourself and stop comparing yourself to other people. Like honestly, why would you want to compare yourself? Why would you want to take your time to freaking like someone's page or like someone's picture? Honestly, if you want to do something, if you want to be successful in life, you're not gonna stay there, stay in bed saying like, I'm gonna do this, but don't actually do it. You're gonna be like, I wanna be a billionaire, but you're not even working yourself, like working your way up there. Like, why would you just stay there? Honestly, this, okay, let me tell you this. I'm always at my house. I'm always stalking people's Instagram, YouTube, and I realize the thing is, I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't getting better at myself. Or my well-being and I was wasting time every second I was wasting time not not going out there trying to do something to improve my own being my wellness my self-development and yeah Helen thank you <laughs> honestly I'm just I just hate it when people will ask me like I hate it when people ask me like how I got here like what did I do to get up here and it's not really that hard. You just have to keep working your way up there, you know? You just have to grind every day and you'll make it up there. I literally took almost eight hours a day trying to get better, trying to figure out how to get bigger and stronger and have a positive mindset. And the thing is, yes, people are gonna 
hate on you because you're doing something different. You're trying to improve yourself and not a lot of people like that. Not a lot of people like change, you know? People hate changes. People don't want you to succeed. They want you to fail. Honestly, people watch you on Instagram or YouTube, anywhere else in real life, and they try to be your friend. Sometimes they, they are your close friend, but sometimes they're just there to see you fail. They want to see you fail. So a lot of people tend to watch you and then eventually they like you because they want to see you fail, fail in life and just hit rock bottom. And to avoid that is, like I said, not comparing yourself to others. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I'm just preaching myself right now, so... I just got out of the gym, by the way, guys, so this is why I'm, like, shirtless. And, yeah. <sighs> I hate it. But number one thing is... Keep pushing yourself out there. Keep trying to be better. Try to keep yourself up. Be positive, you know? Where I came from, I'm gonna be talking about my past right now. I came from having no one to help me, no one to guide me anywhere. I grew up alone, and I always wanted someone to look up to, but I never had that mentor. Like, of course, you could have your mentor to teach you stuff, but I didn't have any, and it hurt. It really hurt me a lot not having anyone to be there in my life, and you know, I l really learned a lot from that and I understand that my parents weren't there for me all the time because they had to work and I didn't realize that because I was a kid and like a kid, when you're a kid, you just want to be w around your parents all the time and be loved, you know? and I didn't get to have that and then it hurts when you go to school and people just push you and break you down push you down, being bullied and just like make you feel like the lowest of everyone else you want to kill yourself, you want to cut, do pain, I don't know what you want to do. That's how I felt and I just wanted to like end it all. As many of you may know if you watched my vlogs before, I almost killed myself. I was in the ER about four years ago at North Carolina and I, I wanted to end myself. Like honestly, I didn't want to be here anymore because I was sick of people looking down on me and I was sick of people putting me down, not motivating me. and. It, it hurts. It hurts not having no one to believe in you. And I believe that. I believe that that I shouldn't have never thought about that. I shouldn't never give a fuck about anyone else but myself. And I started to realize that four years ago after talking to that priest in North Carolina, he realized, he made me realize that I've never been doing it on my own. I was always doing it for other people. Trying to be like something who I'm not. And I realized that I changed myself. I pushed myself. I started not giving a fuck about anyone else. I started saying like, fuck it, I'm gonna do this. And I grind every day. I quit video game. I quit hanging out with friends, going fucking clubbing and to the parties and drinking and everything else. And I love it now. I love myself. I love who I am, I love who I became, I love how I gained so much from 130 or 110 to 150 now pounds and I love how I'm starting to compete in INBA, I'm trying to get that pro card now and I'm trying to have a success successful life and I'm continuing on my passion now which is fitness and many of you seen all my posts I've been trying to like gain more weight I feel like I hit a peak but I haven't hit a peak yet so yeah I'm glad you didn't end your life. Look how far you've gone such a Thank you, Dominique. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad I didn't end my life too. <laughs> I don't party, Sarah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I didn't, I'm still here in my um, in this world. I hope I could change so many people's life. I hope I could motivate and inspire more people and to show them that I'm here for you guys. I believe in all of you guys. I'm telling you this now, don't listen to any of that negative stuff from other people. Like, focus on yourself. Don't even listen to me at times. Like, honestly, if you're watching my video, you need to realize that you're wasting time right now. You need to fucking get out there and push yourself. <laughs>
then stuff like that, you just need to realize that life is hard. Yes, I get it. We're not meant to be like that positive mindset. We learn from hitting rock bottom, being a failure. We learn a lot by grinding and working hard. We come from our human society is about trying to be popular, trying to get somewhere fast as possible, you know? We're trying to be a billionaire by tomorrow and it's not right. We need to realize that working hard for something, it feels good. I'd rather work hard than cheat my way to success. Because I see so many people taking steroids or doing the cheating their way up there and they're not realizing if you work hard and grind you can do that too and you'll be like up there and be successful you know but yeah it's kind of rough <laughs> hi arlen <laughs> so do any of you guys have any question for me dang so Dominique, let me ask you something. Why do you compare yourself to others all the time if you're still on my stream? I ain't even flexing! Ah, oh, here, Sarah. <laughs> oh my god, my right tit. Dude, my one of my tits are like fucking like, I don't know, they're like weird, they're not good. You have your own identity, uniqueness style. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure you have your own identity and uniqueness, and I believe you could go way high in your goals if you just have that positive mindset, you know? <sighs> Sheesh. But I admit, I used to compare myself, and I hated it. I hate comparing myself, especially comparing yourself in the gym. I tend to do that a lot before. I always look at someone, this buff-ass guy, and I'm like, dang, his body's hot. I wanna be there. I wanna be him. Just realize, I'm not gonna be him. I'm different. I'm a different person. So here I am, working hard, trying to be me. Trying to define my own body and everything else so gonna keep grinding gonna keep pushing myself gonna be number one someday you know i mean i set my goal i have my short-term goals middle goal to my long-term goals so right now i'm trying to um, get my pro card in uh, inba so in physique then make my way up to Team USA to probably Mr. Olympia in the future, you know? Who knows? And I'm very excited on what I'm doing right now. And I'm glad that other people support me. And I know other people will hate me at the same time, but it is what it is. Just gotta keep on pushing. But yeah. Well. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video live stream. Other than that, this is also gonna go on my vlog. I have a lot more to say. I just can't think at the moment, but yeah. But thing is, pretty good. Ross Arn, how's it going? <laughs> but yeah, honestly. 100 pound to 150 without giving a fuck about anybody else. You can do it. Thank you, Siren. I've been pushing myself, getting up there. Are you even a starting it now? I don't, I don't even know. You're probably staff starting now, aren't you? But uh, it was a long way getting up where I am. Transfer transformation. I owe you a lot, too, Siren. Honestly, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have got here without your motivation too. I told you before you left that you were one of my big motivators. Like, you were badass, honestly. And you helped me push myself to be up there. 
Honestly, I'm still pushing myself now. I'm trying to do it clean way. I'm not gonna cheat myself, I'm not gonna take that steroids. Push myself and get my pro card eventually. So yeah. Cool. I hope you guys like this stream. I hope you guys understand that you should never compare yourself to another person and if you focus on yourself, you'll gain so many ways. You'll reach your goal in a satisfying um, way. If you work hard at something, you'll love it. If you cheat your way, you might love it, but it'll be like only temporary. Like, why would you want to cheat? So, that's it guys. Thank you. Hey, how's it going guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was from Facebook live stream. And if you really do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe over here. I don't know where I'm pointing at, but yeah. Thanks for watching though.